The spotlight was on these two North American neighbours with very different political outlooks, President Trump and Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. But while they posed for the cameras, many want more details about what's going on behind the scenes at the White House, with the President's National Security Advisor, Lieutenant General Michael Flynn, under pressure. He was present at a news conference with Trump and the Canadian leader. OK, we'll take a couple of questions. Reporters still have many questions. Did he speak in January to Russia's ambassador about lifting sanctions against his country? Did he mislead his colleagues and the public about what occurred in that call? Does the president still have confidence in General Flynn? Scott Thurman. But none of those were asked, with the White House carefully handpicking who got a question. In one answer, Trump did volunteer his view on the latest North Korean ballistic missile launch. Well, I mean, obviously, North Korea is a big, big problem, and we will deal with that very strongly. Thank you. But the way the administration dealt with the missile launch is causing considerable concern. Trump was with the Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe in the main dining area at his Mar-a-Lago club in Florida. Other diners watched and posted pictures on social media as the two leaders discussed this most sensitive security issue in plain view. One well-heeled diner, Trump charges $200,000 to be a club member, even took a selfie of himself with what he said was the military aide who carries the briefcase with the nuclear codes in it. After President Trump had delivered his warning to North Korea, Remarkably, he took the Japanese Prime Minister to meet other members of his club who were holding a wedding reception. Out the way, this administration, only in office for just over three weeks, deals with national security. At his news conference, President Trump had the opportunity to back his national security adviser. He didn't take any questions on the subject, and that means he's not putting the issue to rest. Those questions continue to be asked. James Bays, Al Jazeera, at the White House.